My name is Maria Zakam and I am a majoring in controls robotics autonomy on the electrical engineering side. What I really enjoy about controls robotics and autonomy is that it combines a lot of mechanical with electrical work, which is something that I really sought out. I was actually deciding between mechanical and electrical before I decided on fully electrical and controls robotics and autonomy gives me kind of the best of all worlds so I get to do that software side with the computer engineering um, the hardware side which combines mechanical and electrical and getting that hands-on experience getting to see what I was doing how I was building it how I was designing things really allowed me to grasp a lot of materials in the, in a way better way I could have never imagined so I really appreciated getting that like interdisciplinary experience because when you go out into the real world, your jobs are going to be not just with people of your major, of your same kind, it's going to be people of all from different fields working on all different kinds of things and it's your job as an engineer to contribute, you know, ask those questions, get seek help um, and so it's just a really cool way to kind of get that experience before you go out into the real world and start working. So didn't even know that I wanted to do electrical engineering, but taking the ECE 1004 class freshman year really kind of solidified that I was making the right decision. I had the professor Scott Dunning he completely changed my view on what it meant to be an electrical or computer engineer. He inspired us in class every day, motivated us to work harder, um, and really showed that it's normal and appreciated to be a woman in STEM. Um, there's not that many women in our major, and so you kind of feel a little bit unrepresented, but just seeing like women succeed in this field and in this industry made me want to pursue it even more. So that was a really also kind of what made me go into electrical engineering and then doing controls robotics and autonomy. Just coming from a senior, I feel like I've learned so much and I wish I could go back and tell like sophomore year me when I started, you know, my core EC classes that everything was going to be all right and turn out better than I imagined. Um, but definitely the biggest piece of advice that I can offer is utilize help wherever you can get it. I am the type of person that I would rather go to office hours and go to the professor immediately when I needed help instead of, you know, I would obviously try on the assignments until I couldn't anymore, but I really utilized office hours, the TA, the professor. What I really enjoyed about Virginia Tech and the ECE program is that everybody's there to help you. They want you to succeed and do well. And knowing that I always had someone out there like supporting me and, you know, there to answer any questions made the major so much easier to get by. The biggest thing for me is that make time management. I mean, as you know, cliche as it sounds, you want the time to study and devote that to your homework, but it's also college. It's going to be four years of your life and you want to make sure that, you know, you're getting out there, you're meeting new people, you're trying new things and adventures and being in new clubs and, you know, all that stuff. And so while it is important to focus on school and ECE, it's also important to, you know, try new things and new experiences. And so I definitely say time management helped me kind of balance everything. And definitely any time I knew that I needed help, I would, you know, reach out to a tutor or go to office hours, just utilizing any kind of, you know, advantage Virginia Tech had to offer, I would definitely take it. Um, and I can fully say that I've lived like four years up to the fullest and I'm super sad to graduate, but it's definitely been a really good four years, so.